All right, we're talking about five spices that you can add to your food today that have a documented effect against cancer. Let's get into it. All right, before we jump in, this video is not about supplementation. We talk about supplements in other videos. This one is not about supplementation. This is all about spices that you can combine in your foods that have documented benefits when fighting cancer. Before starting any new supplement, because some of these you can get in supplement form, but at much higher doses, uh, before including that in your cancer fighting plan, always talk with your doctor. This is not medical advice. All right, spice number one that we're talking about is cayenne pepper. So cayenne contains a substance called capsaicin. That is what makes it spicy, capsaicin. Most human studies into capsaicin focus mainly on its effectiveness as an oral treatment for pain relief in cancer patients with side effects from chemotherapy and radiation therapy. So it's really interesting. There's studies that show that uh, including cayenne, which has capsaicin in it, um, can actually have some analgesic effect on pain coming from chemotherapy and radiation. So uh, capsaicin also demonstrates the ability to inhibit the growth of cancer cells. Research suggests that the compound promotes uh, what's called apoptosis, which is the programmed cell death. We've talked about that in other videos. Cayenne pepper is also a powerful antioxidant. It reduces the damaging effect of free radicals on the healthy tissues of the body, which again, really beneficial, particularly alongside things like chemotherapy that are damaging lots of cells, healthy and cancerous. And so what capsaicin can do is help protect your healthy cells against that and that thus targeting your cancer cells. Last thing about cayenne pepper is it uh, helps in causing regression of a tumor by preventing something called angiogenesis which makes it an anti-angiogenesis substance, okay? Angiogenesis is the process of formation of new blood vessels. Your body goes through this all the time. By inhibiting this process in, in the cancer tumor, the cayenne pepper ensures that the cancer cells are deprived of their supply of oxygen and other nutrients, as a result of which they become incapable of surviving and eventually die. So a tumor will create its own blood vessels to bring in nutrients to itself. And so, and that's angiogenesis. And so things that are anti-angiogenesis restrict that ability for the cancer to essentially feed itself, which has a positive effect, not for the tumor, but positive for you, and causes the regression of the tumor, okay? So those are all different things that cayenne has been studied and capsaicin, the substance in cayenne, has been studied for. So if you like spicy food, Kick it up, do it, go for it, because it can have some beneficial effects in your fight against cancer. All right, spice number two we're talking about is garlic. So uh, there have been studies into garlic that provide evidence of an anti-carcinogenic, anti-carcinogenic effect of different active ingredients that are in garlic. You think of carcinogenic substances um, like, like secondhand smoke, um, many, many different chemicals, plastics are carcinogenic. So anti-carcinogenic fights against the effect of carcinogenic substances. In case-controlled studies of stomach and colorectal cancer, uh, these studies suggest a protective effect of the high intake of raw or cooked garlic. So it has a cell protection component that's been studied. Um, which again, alongside things like chemo, which is affecting um, all your cells, healthy and cancerous, uh, has that protective, that potentially protective effect. So lab studies also show that garlic compounds help with DNA repair, so the fixing of uh, mutated DNA, and it slows the growth of cancer cells and it decreases inflammation. So there's a lot around garlic that uh, is beneficial in the overall fight against cancer. Plus, garlic makes all food better. I will go to my grave saying that. It should be in everything except desserts. There is my very biased opinion. All right, 
Spice number three is turmeric, or turmeric. There is an R in there. Uh, my wife calls me crazy when I s try to pronounce the R, but um, let's just call it turmeric. So this bright yellow powder um, can be used on its own, but it's often included in many curry powders. And so that's where you'll, you'll maybe typically find turmeric. So lab studies have found it may work against lung, breast, prostate, and colon cancers. So those are cancers that have been studied. Um, others suggest that curcumin, which is the uh, active ingredient in turmeric that has the, the most benefit, so curcumin, uh, might help chemotherapy actually work better. So it helps chemotherapy focus on the cancer cells that we're targeting uh, and helps protect your, your healthy cells. So a study on people with colorectal cancer found it may help slow the disease's progression as well. So the actual advancement of that colon cancer was arrested in those studies. Um, another study found that taking it daily may lower the chance of cancer in people who are high risk. So they studied um, a bunch of people who are high risk. Some of them took, took uh, curcumin, some of them, or, or turmeric, some of them did not. And the risk actually went down of occurrence of cancer in the people who were taking it over the people who, who weren't taking anything. So turmeric is a great one to add to your spice cabinet. Spice number four is cinnamon. Cinnamon has a wide range of pharmacological functions, uh, including uh, it is antioxidant, it is antimicrobial, and it has many different anti-cancer properties and activities. So in cancer, much of what allows the mutated cancer cell to uh, grow so prolifically is it has an impaired apoptosis role. And what that means is that its normal designed cell death cycle is uh, broken. And so it doesn't die when it's supposed to die. And so it just keeps reproducing, it keeps reproducing. So um, cinnamon has a positive apoptosis effect in that it helps those cancer cells um, that are broken in that, in that programming to reprogram themselves and initiate a healthy cell death. So increasing evidence indicates that cinnamon, um, as a therapeutic agent, has anti-cancer effects as it affects numerous different apoptosis pathways for those cancer cells. So that's really cool that it helps reprogram those cancer cells to die. So this makes cinnamon a great thing to add to your diet, um, put it in your coffee, add it to your breakfast, uh, it's just a great one because of the studied effects that it has in a cancer fight. All right, our fifth and final spice is ginger. So ginger has been used for, for I mean, really millennia in, in Chinese culture, uh, but m more recently in, uh, in the world at large to treat things like um, all around digestion. So nausea, vomiting, upset stomach, diarrhea, motion sickness. Um, totally unrelated to cancer, just it has been shown to help in all of those digestion-related problems. Um, so that right there, you can see how that can be really beneficial, particularly when you're going through chemotherapy and radiation. A lot of those symptoms uh, exist related to those treatments, and so ginger just right there can be a really beneficial thing to add uh, and have on hand. Um, there are ginger candies, there's uh, dried ginger, there's ginger powder or fresh ginger that you can make tea out of. Um, and so right there, there's a benefit. Additionally, ginger has been studied and uh, has shown to have the following general benefits. Um, so it is immunomodulatory, it's a big word. All it means is it, it helps challenge the immune system uh, and, and strengthens it in that way. It's also anti-tumorigenic, so it helps prevent tumors from developing. Uh, it's anti-inflammatory, which cancer causes inflammation, and so anything we can do to arrest that inflammation allows our immune system to work more effectively. Um, and it also has chemopreventive benefits. And this is essentially, it helps prevent the cancer growth um, when consumed frequently. 
So um, it is not a cure-all. None of these spices are cure-alls, but it is something that is easy to add to your diet uh, that has some studied benefits in the fight against cancer. Those are our top five spices that we include in our diet for Rachel's fight against cancer uh, that you can add to yours as well. If we missed any, or if you have questions about the five that we included, let us know below. Otherwise, we will talk to you soon.